It is time now for the OTR Pop Quiz. You ready for this? The outdoor version of the OTR Pop Quiz? The outdoor version. Here we go. Let's do so, it. as we mentioned, you are a North Shore homie. You grew up in Lynn. Yes. Represented Peabody at the State House. You live in Danvers now. So, as you know, you don't have to live by the ocean to be considered in the North Shore. Right. So, one of the, we're putting three, three towns on the screen, but I'll tell you which ones they are. Uh, these three towns, which one would have a hard time qualifying as North Shore? Is it Middleton? Is it North Reading? Is it Draken? Hard time qualifying Middleton, North Reading, or Draken? I've never heard Draken. Uh, referred to as the North Shore. You got so it. Go you, got it. it. Okay. you got it. You got it. Drake it. Difficult time going to put Drake it solidly in the Merrimack Valley. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to your old house district. And this is just a true or false question. Okay. okay. So true or false, Peabody takes its name from the man who was widely regarded as the father of a modern philanthropy. Is that true or false? That is true. George Peabody was a noted banker who helped establish many charitable initiatives in America. You are two for two. All we right. go to the third one. Back to the North Shore and a New England culinary classic, fried clams. Again, this is true or false. Lawrence Chubby Woodman is recognized as the inventor of the modern fried clams we have come to know and love. Is that true or false? Chubby Woodman. Something is making me want to say that's false. The, so here's the truth. It is true. When we rehearsed it, I went through the same thing. It can't be. It can't be. But it is. Woodman's of Essex, and get this, the first batch was made, by the way, on this day, July 3rd, back in 1916, but July 3rd. All right, here's the last question. Okay. Kerry Healy, Republican Lieutenant Governor under Mitt Romney, went on to become president of the Massachusetts Institute of Higher Learning. Kerry Healy. Was it Babson? Was it Bentley? Or was it Brandeis? I'm going to say Babson. It was Babson. She was the president from 2013 to 2019. So three for four, it's very good. You're up, Alex. <laughs> so as I promised, we're going to talk about taxes. Okay. Um, do you agree with President Biden, who wants to eliminate both federal and tax gas taxes? In Massachusetts, that would be 42 cents a gallon for both. Uh, but opponents argue that oil companies would probably gobble up much of those in profits and that consumers probably wouldn't get much benefit. Do you agree with them? Do you agree with them or do you agree with President Biden? I think that right now we'll take a tax break any way we can get it. I think that that 40 cents will add up week after week, month after month, and it might be enough to afford some more groceries with the cost of high inflation. Um, I think that uh, that anything we can do to give people a break right now and to make every day easier for them is something that we should look into. Let's, let's talk about the millionaire tax because you, you, you mentioned it in the first segment and I would like to go back to it because on the November ballot, the voters will be asked to weigh in on the millionaire tax. 4% surcharge and income over a million, a million bucks. How would you vote? How would you consider it? How will you vote? I would vote against it as uh, written right now. For one, like I said, the state has billions of dollars over uh, the revenue that they actually need to run the state. So I'm not sure why this is such a big push right now to, to increase taxes at all. Secondly, uh, I think it's very misleading to the voters because it, it says that it will be funding for education and transportation, but actually there's no provision that requires the legislature to spend it that way. Um, and there was a Republican amendment put forth that would require them uh, to use that money um, in addition to instead of in lieu of, so they couldn't move money around and spend money for education and transportation in other places. However, the uh, legislature rejected that amendment, so that leads me to believe that they want the ability to not spend it on what it was intended for. Leah Cole Allen, a candidate for Lieutenant Governor, thank you for joining us this morning. It's great to have you on the record. This is great. Thank and you And three so for much. four on the OTR Pop Quiz. That's, that's batting 750. That's a good job.